to another video. So in today's video, I'm giving you my top three luxury sandals that you should consider owning and adding to your summer wardrobe. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself. I'm Tamika and here on my channel, I cover topics on fashion, luxury, less for less, and the occasional lifestyle content. So if that sounds like topics you would enjoy, consider hitting that subscribe button down below, along with that notification bell so you never miss an upload. So let's get right into the first pair. The first pair being these Gian Vito Rossi Bijou Puffy Sandals. Y'all, this is number one on my list. Hands down, most worn, most comfortable as far as the heel is concerned. And I did pick these up during one of Neiman Marcus online, I think buy more, save more events. So I did get these for steel. And as far as sizing, they do run true to size, I would say. I'm generally a nine and a half in anything open toe. These come in so many different color options. Now, this is one shoe that I would not mind having in every color. I'm not that girl that likes to buy something I like in every single color, but this is one shoe that I would definitely make the exception for because it's just that good. It's just that comfortable. It goes with so much. The best part about this shoe, in my opinion, is the fact that even though these shoes are trending, they are still classic. So. I purchased them because they fill the void in my wardrobe. I had a pair of Forever 21 strappy sandals that I wore to the ground and I wanted something that would be in my wardrobe for a while, wouldn't get ran down as easily and still gave me that strappy look. I can dress this up, I can dress it down, I'll put up some photos so that you can see how I've styled them so far. And I mean, it's, it's everything. Like the leather is soft, it's comfortable, and you would definitely get your cost per wear with these because I have owned them for seven months now and I've worn them a ton. I have zero regrets on purchasing these. They are definitely something that you must have in every girl's summer wardrobe. So on my list is the Bottega Strappy Sandals. I decided to go with these. I wanted a pop of color and I really liked the heel height. That's what completely sold me on this shoe was the height because it's not too high and it's something that I can wear and actually walk in. I also love them because they're different. So I don't see too many girls with these. I've seen the stretch sandal everywhere but I haven't seen a whole lot of these. And although they are a bit trendy, they still give me classic. I know the square toe is a trend, but it's not a square toe that's to the extreme. And I still feel like this is something that I'll be wearing years from now. Now let's talk about sizing a bit. Um, if I'm being honest, they are a bit small. I went with a 39 and a half and I probably should have done a 40. The 39 and a half works, but if you look really close at my foot when I'm wearing them, you probably be like, okay, sis, you probably could have went up a half a size. <laughs> so don't judge me there, but I would say as far as sizing, you should go up a full size. Believe it or not, these do go with a lot in my wardrobe. I know with them being orange, you would probably think I'm limited, but I'm not. I can wear them with jeans, dresses, skirts, anything that I would pretty much wear a flat with. I can dress up with these and still be put together and cute and trendy but classic all at the same time. These are well worth the purchase. My third and final sandal that I will be talking about today needs no introduction but I will go ahead and introduce it anyway and it is the Hermes Oran sandal. And I did just finish doing an unboxing of this right before I filmed this. So if you saw that video, then you know that I have not worn these out yet. However, they made it into my top three because I have seen them styled so many different ways and I cannot wait to style mine. They can be dressed up with a pair of slacks and a nice little button up shirt and just elevate that look or it can just be thrown on with your everyday wear uh, just as a slip on slide and I think they're super chic. If you're looking for something with a little more pop of color, these do come in a ton of color options. The only thing uh, to that is those colors and pops of colors have been sold out uh, for months now, so getting your hands on them might be a little difficult, but they do come in a lot of bright, pretty colors that are really popular this summer. I did cover sizing in my unboxing video, but I will touch on it a little bit here. Bottom line for me, 
they run small. I had to size up to a 40 and I still don't feel like I got my complete satisfaction when it comes to the size. I really wish I knew what the 39 and a half looked like simply because this, the H here, I believe is going to stretch out and it's already not that tight as it is and I don't want to be flopping around in them. You really do have to try them on for yourself because I feel like each foot is different. But they do make it into my top three sandals you should own for summer because they do elevate just about any look. This wraps up today's video. I have linked to all of the sandals that I've discussed as well as some alternatives in the description box down below. And if you wish to connect with me further, you can head over to my Instagram at tstyled underscore where you'll be seeing me style these sandals and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching.